But until we can get to Home Story Cup and cast these players live, we'll have to settle for casting them uh, from very far away. <laughs> Spawning in the upper left-hand corner of Sight Delta, we have Team Liquid's Clem. And he is up against his teammate in the lower right. It is a Skillis. Both these players have looked uh, quite strong this year. Clem, of course, with a big victory in Atlanta. Um, I mean, I guess that was technically last year, but it was within the year. So we still count that. Skillis has looked quite strong. He had a really good run. And what tournament was that? I actually cannot remember what tournament it was. He had a really good run at a tournament recently. Well, it was in China, right? What event was that? Was that the next tournament? I'm not sure. We had a really good run there. So good to see him doing well. Uh, he did mention recently he hasn't been as happy with his results at the last couple events, but still looking very strong. And I know he can take it to Clem. These guys are teammates. I'm sure they practice together a lot and play together a lot. Skillis. One of the strongest Protoss in the region, and I know Clem often fights Max Packs, especially in these EPT Cups, so I, I'm imagining he's looking for all the practice against Protoss he can get. Uh, and for skill, it's like, I don't know, man. There's nobody better to practice with than Clem. Especially, uh, you know, you got a match against Amaru or something coming up, right? Who are you going to practice with? It's, it's Clem or nobody. This is nice, though. This is annoying stuff. Clem trying to get the bunker in, but... Good probe micro here. He's going to take down the SCV, force the cancel on the bunker. And that little bit of pressure, not going to get the job done here for Clem today. It means this Reaper is all alone. Poor sad little Reaper. Let's see if he can get a probe. Probably not, as the Stalker is about to pop out. So... Good start for Skillis, I would say, because Clem can be very annoying if you let him get an inch with that Reaper. He will take the whole mile. The the entire mile. Maybe even two, three miles. Give him an inch, he takes three miles with the Reaper. Double Hellion follow-up, though, here for Clem. He wants to put some pressure on. Now, there is a pylon near the front here for Skillis, but I don't think it, it can wall. I'm pretty sure it cannot build a building up here. So skill is going to be a bit vulnerable to these Hellions. It's just two Hellions, though, and then it's going to be a follow-up with a Widowmine, probably a Widowmine drop. And this can be very annoying if, if the Widowmine drop tries to hit at the same time the Hellions try to run in. I mean, things can get really dicey real fast. They can get dicey, they can get spicy, and they can get real pricey if you lose a lot of units. But Clem going to dive in here with the Reaper. Hellions are going to follow him up because they want to get up here where there's no shield battery to protect these probes and only two stalkers in a sentry to deal damage. That is going to be three dead probes, four dead probes, but that's it. Honestly, not that much damage. Pays for the Hellions, but that is, that's it. And I think Skillis is okay with that defense. He's still ahead in workers. Losing a few is painful, but it's a lot of production time too for Clem that he could have used for something else. Instead used for Hellions that just traded evenly. Ooh, this Phoenix is going to barely miss the medevac he that's heading across right now with three Widow Mines in it. Three Widow Mines is a little bit scary. As I say that, though, this probe putting down the pylon is going to spot this, so Skilla should be ready to start splitting. Oh, my God, he pulled the probe. Ah, it's so scary. Ooh. Ah. Widow Mines trying to burrow and unburrow and be as annoying as possible. As the third one's going to go into the main base. Oh. Looks like it's just going to get one. This one got one. So just three probes dead overall. Looks like two of those Widow Mines will get out of there. At the same time, Stalkers have hit the main base. Double cycle on the way, but right now the SCVs are just trying to fight this out. They need a mineral walk through. Or, or maybe not. They're actually getting a full surround right now. Okay. Six SCVs going down, though. Ooh. A couple more Widow Mines going to go off here. As they come back in, they get picked up again, and Blink is still not done. This medevac's going to be able to go hide in the corner with two more Widow Mines, but 11 SCVs going down, and it's getting worse. 
Oh, the Viking is out. Those skills needs to recall. Okay, he gets out of there, but I thought there might be Marine on the low ground. There was not. The Cyclones show up late to the party. Cyclones get there. They're like, oh, what's going on? Oh, oh we're here to help. Like, yeah, they recalled already, dude. Widowmind's coming back in, though. This is keeping Clem in the game right now because he is way down on workers. But he's forced a lot of lost mining time. He will get a Blink Stalker with that one at the very least. This one still chilling up here, still being annoying. The lost mining time is the only thing keeping this even close for Clem right now. Because we're going to see this spike way back down in Skillis' favor once he gets back to mining. And he's only really lost a few probes. It has been nine. You know what? Nine probes all together is actually it's quite a bit more than I expected. This medevac is going to get found by the Stalkers. Widowmind is going to try to burrow, but I don't think they're going to get too much done. Yeah, a good blink there. Medevac goes down. Problem for Clem is he has 15 army supply to 26, and that's 26 army supply of blink Stalkers, which is really good army supply. <laughs> That's a uh, very efficient army supply. Usually it's down in supply. I just don't think there's going to be enough here for Clem. The blink forward. One Cyclone pulls back with the bio. It's just not enough. The bunker goes down. And I think this is pretty much it here. Skillis should just be able to micro his way to a victory. There's the GG. As Skillis takes game number one. Clem's harassment-based opener getting some decent damage done. But not enough to counteract the four stalkers with a warp prism that just went into the main base and wreaked absolute havoc. And that's one of the big problems with opening with a harassment-based opener. It's why we don't see a lot of Hellion openers. And usually the Widowmind drop is very low committal. Because when you start doing like that, like we saw there, a lot of Widowmines, a lot of Medivacs committed to this. Yes, you might. You have this big potential to just kill a billion probes. But if you don't, Suddenly, you haven't been spending your your valuable production time on units that can actually fight. And in that case, Skillis lost some workers, but he had an army. And Clem did not have an army. Very simple. Very simple, very easy to understand. GG. Not at all overpowered for Protoss. Despite what the Terrans might say. But it's nice to see Skillis get a win. This is the best of three. This is the semifinals. So Skillis is now one game away from heading to the finals, taking out Clem in an EPT cup. That would be pretty, pretty big. I mean, again, he has done it before. But that's still a really nice result, especially coming off a tournament. You might not be super stoked on your results the last couple of tournaments. That being said, Clem's not been super stoked about his results lately either. Uh, you know, I... I'm not exactly sure when these guys went out at Home Story Cup, but I saw Clem was not in the semifinals, I'm pretty sure. And that's a little surprising considering the, the players who were there. I would have expected Clem to honestly maybe take the whole thing. Um, so, you know, between that and, and Dallas, he got knocked out a little bit earlier than I think anybody was expecting. Wasn't super excited with his games, I know, in that tournament. Same for Skillis, so... They're both been a little on the back foot, and I think a win here for Skillis would be really, really nice taking out Clem. It would not be very nice for Clem, though, so I'm sure he's going to be fighting this one back. He's like, ah, a couple of, couple of bad results. Let me go back to the EPT Cup. Max Pax isn't even playing. He's got the easy victory. It's within his grasp. Then Skillis coming in here to knock it out. Clem blocking off the probe from getting in. Using the reactor here, so straight to the reactor. No Reaper this time. No Reaper. I'm not even sure what melody that was I just sang there. Sometimes, sometimes the music just pops in to the brain. I've been really wanting to make some music lately. I'm really thinking about that. 
Gotta get the music making software together. It'd be cool to get some, just to make something, any sort of, any sort of anything at this point. My creative energies have been, uh, I've, I've been, I've had some releases of the creative energies lately, but I need more. Especially after going to the safe house and doing like, um, doing the zombie makeup. I was like, oh man, I miss, I miss doing like costume stuff too. I don't put on costumes or put on makeup really very often, so just messing around with that was a lot of fun. Clem going for a fast third CC here. Uh, he did get a Reaper out, funnily enough, for the single Reaper uh, and the Cyclone, then into the double Marine. That's a very macro-focused build from Clem, though. Skillless in the meantime. Second gate on the way. There's Blink. There is the Robo. We'll keep an eye out for any follow-up gates. But it looks like the Reaper is going to be able to get the scout on this. This is an excellent, excellent scout for Clem. Really, really crucial for him to see all of that going on in the back of the mirror Welcome. line. Complete. Again, he's not going to know if there's more gateways coming up. As uh, they're just going down right now. Or it, it is just going down right now. The singular extra gate. But he at least knows what he's up against, what he needs to do to prepare in case there are more stalkers coming across. And it looks like it is just going to be three gate here for Skillis. Not going full committal on the four gate, but could still get a lot of damage done with this if he chooses to go for the aggression. Clem playing a little bit uh, fast and loose here. The quick third CC is going to make it a little bit harder to defend. No bunker at the front as well. So Death going to try to keep getting a scout, but good micro here from Clem. He's going to get the lock on. Doesn't take any damage. And gets the confirmed kill. Uh, skills opening with double observer here leads me to believe he wants to just take a third. I feel like he would have built a warp prism if he wanted to just go for it. But yeah, there's that probe. Starts up the robo bay. He's going to poke with the stalkers, but take a third. Tech up. He doesn't want to commit to the attack. Just going to go see what's going on over here. Gets the scout. Oh my god, he doesn't see the third CC. That's actually huge. It looks like the stalkers will see it, though, as they dive up here. Stim under fire, but... There's actually going to be enough here to, to push these Stalkers away before they get stimmed. Kills the Observer as well. So once Skills blinks out, he will not be able to come back in until that second Observer comes across. Which, uh, there is one. Nah, it's back at home, though, so... it's going to poke the front. Bunker taking some damage, but... Skills just being cute. Using that good quality micro he's got. Starport is now finished. Uh, oh, he needs to put that on the reactor. He's He had queued up two medevacs there. Uh, the bunker's going to go down. Marines do evacuate. Stim is done, but without medevacs, Clem does not want to hit that stim button. He knows the stalkers will just blink away. He'd rather, I think, lose a few Marines here. There's the stim, though, as he does spot that, that second observer. Um, there's a third observer. Skill is just building observers out here, left and right. Does Clem have another scan? Does he see this one? Doesn't look like it. Stalker is going to see this move out. They're going to go for some reinforcements. They will find a couple Marauders here. One shot each Marauder. They're going to get on top of some of these SCVs. Clem deciding to turn around and come home to fight this right as the recall goes through. And that is a beautiful move there by Skillis. Pulls the army back. Gets a little bit of damage done. And then just gets out of there. That, that's... Yeah, it's exactly what you want to see with those Blink Stalkers. It's the kind of moves they need to make to be as efficient as they need to be. And that's bought time for a Colossus to come out. Second Colossus is on the way. Thermal Lance is started up. Skillis is getting very well set up back at home. Five more gates on the way as well. That being said, Clem's plus one is about to finish. A little bit of a chance for a, a move out here. He's got Medivacs out now. His third base is finally up and running.
little surprised to see Skillis moving out here like this. Without Thermal Lands, with the second Colossus wa wandering across the map. I don't mind this, though. Just poking across, poking in with the Stalkers a little bit. Pops the Guardian Shield, drops the Force Field. Oh, it's so cute. Gets the Metavax. Yeah, you know what? This is nice moves from Skills. This is exactly what he's looking for. He just wants to pick this army apart, try to be as cost-efficient as possible. It's been very close trade so far. Any little units he can pick off. Clem's going to have a very strong army here. So any delay he can get on that, any good trades he can take, he's got to be careful of those losing stalkers for this. That's always painful. Yeah, double drop going to be spotted by the pylon, and or this double drop is going to spot the pylon. Now the skills will come in and push this away. The medevacs, ooh, I think they already boosted. Maybe not. Hold on. Hold the phone here. Clem going to fight this out. He brings the rest of the units over, but the Colossi up on the high ground here, that is really difficult to fight against for this bio army. Oh, but as I say that, Clem, he stims, he runs forward. Colossi doing as best as they can, but they will both fall. Is the bio enough to finish the rest of this off? I think it is. The medevacs here keeping these last few marauders alive. Ooh, it's so close. These stalkers, though, I think they will finally clean the rest of this up. Skill is putting down a front, a forward-facing gateway here. Oh, and the prism with the Colossus. That's actually kind of huge. Stalker's going to blink away from the Widow Mine, and Clem is on the back foot. Yes, his army supply is bigger, but a lot of that's in production. A lot of it's still running out as well. So the actual army on the map here is going to be much better for Skillis as he pokes forward a little bit, gets another Widow Mine kill. Or, yeah, I think that was a Widow Mine. Oh, good kill on that Observer. There are a lot of Widow Mines here, so the Zealots do have to be careful. But Skillis doesn't have to commit to this either. He can still just poke and prod. Yeah, he's got a proxy gate here, but he's got a fourth base up and running. There's no fourth base done for Clem yet. This third, the fourth CC is right here. Oh, nice blink. Last second blink there. Well, I don't hate this position for Skillis if he just keeps poking and prodding. Uh, that being said, the army supplies are very similar. The worker counts are very similar. Clem is ahead on upgrades, but his armory only just finished. So Skillis has a bit of a chance to catch up. The ghosts here are very scary as well. The EMPs can be huge on this army. Oh my god, they don't even kill that ghost, so it gets the EMP off. A lot of gateway units falling there. Gate and two pylons dying as well. Skills losing a bit of position on this map. Uh, force fields go down. Uh, I don't know if that ended up working out super well for Skillis, though. Those trades that earlier were very close are now pretty heavily in Clem's favor. Zella run by gets a couple of kills, but not much here. Clem's reinforcements cleaning it up. Skillis is going to go ahead and take a fifth base, which I think is necessary as the fourth is now landing for Clem. But Clem's economy has been quite good this game. Skillis, yeah, he needs to get into something else. Some disruptors here is going to be a good choice. He's not going for the uh, High Templar and the Prism. I know there's ghosts out, but I still... Still kind of like seeing the High Templar in the Prism action. Very difficult to control that with Disruptors and with the rest of the army as well, though. Well, Skill's going to try to take this fight in the middle of the map. Here, some big EMPs hit, though, and there are a decent amount of Vikings going to be hurting these Colossi. I think Clem's just got too much here. He's overrunning the army. The Disruptor Nova oh, actually gets a nice hit. But I don't think it's enough. Look at the supply. Clem taking a 30 supply lead there even after the big warp in. The Prism goes down. Clem's going to have to back up here from the Zella reinforcements. But that's small consolation for Skillis right now. Who's got to know there's a whole army back at home for Clem. Oh, he's going to get himself in a bit of a pincer move here. Clem going to turn and fight. Never say die. Disruptor Nova gets a couple more Marauders. Honestly, again, not too bad. Disruptor on seven kills. They will finally go down, though. And now Skillis is just trying to stay alive. He's trying to get another Colossus out as the Vikings have mostly died. And Skillis is actually up on upgrades. 2-2 not quite done for Clem. So these fights are going a little bit better than I would have expected. 
But Clem's plus two attack just finished, so the upgrades are now equalized. Oh, and Skillis is so far away from his base. He's got some Zealots here that might buy him time to get the rest of the army back over, but he's still so far away. Super Shield Battery turns on. That'll help him buy a little more time as well. Ooh, he's going to pincer this army. Clem, got to be careful here as more Zealots come in, the Stalkers come in. EMP is helping a little bit, but the Colossi, the Colossus, still a little scary. Disruptor scary as well. But Clem is still out on the map, still fighting it out. Supplies are a little bit closer for Skillis now. Last couple fights have gone okay for him. The Volts just finished some upgrades, so the upgrades are still, uh, it's 2-2 two, two to 3-1. Disruptors should be able to zone Clem back at least a little bit until more warpins come through. Yeah, the trades continuing to go better and better for Clem, though, as he's now almost 3,000 resources ahead in those trades. And he's going to take the forward fifth. Might want to replant that. It's not exactly in the right spot, but uh, it was a little focused right now. Disruptor Nova gets a ghost. It's always a nice little pick off there. Whoop. That Nova dies, though. Disruptor dies before the Nova connects, I should say. Another Super Shield Battery here. Going to buy a little bit more time. These Colossi have been so crucial in just picking apart some of the Marines in the army. Disruptor is getting killed. Targeted, but not killed, actually. Clem spending a lot of DPS to not kill a unit. This is morphing into a planetary. This is... This is not right, is it? I feel like this needs to be like one hex closer. Maybe it is right though. No, 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 it's off. It's off for sure. Look at how far away this gas is. Not the biggest deal there, but it's not great for Clem. Ooh, this is nice for Skillis though. If he can keep holding on and get that prism into the main base, that could be pretty huge. We're into the natural here. That being said, he's lost his shield battery. Disruptors, there's not a lot left. I think it's literally just the one right now. A second one does pop over. Two Colossi still doing a pretty good job here. The supply is getting a lot closer as SCVs start to fall in the natural. But it looks like the prism went down to the uh, probably the Vikings here. So it's just the five SCVs that the Zealots get taken out. One Colossus is very low. The bio not going to be able to get on top of it though. More Warpins coming through. Skill is holding them back for now. Clem's army getting smaller and smaller. Another Colossus joins the fight. This is now three Colossi, four Vikings being made at a time. I think Clem absolutely needs to get those Vikings out to fight this. But as I say that, six Vikings just show up all of a sudden. They take out one Colossus, and just like that, Skills' army feels a lot weaker. Clem continuing to just stutter step backwards, kite these Zealots as much as possible. I think the Vikings should probably just target this down now. He's going to go for it. Oh, there's Bio from the top side. The Disruptor Nova going to zone them away, but that's just buying time for the inevitable, which I feel like is going to be... Well, hold the phone here. The Bio that went south is all dead. The Disruptor is chasing forward. A lot of the supply here for Clem is in these Vikings. He will push this back. My God, this is so close now, though. Fantastic force field there for Skillis is going to trap a lot of that Bio out front of it. Clem will pick it up and pull it back. But that means he's losing that DPS time. The Vikings will kill the Prism, so no more fast reinforcements. But that Warpin already came through. Skills is going to keep the pressure on Disruptor Nova zoning backwards. I think that's the last Nova for a little while, though. Ooh, the blink forward. Skills feels like he's got it. 10 SEVs going down as they were forced to fight. Clem is still very close in supply. My god, they're so close. It's just back and forth. Skillis doesn't have those close reinforcements anymore, though. The Disruptor, final Disruptor goes down. The Zealots are all falling. 18 SEVs die during that, which is huge. But Clem still has mules. He killed a lot of the army. He's up 20 army supply right now. He killed the big, chunky units. More Disruptors are coming out, but the Colossi are all dead. It's just going to be some gateway units and Disruptors now for Skillis. And his plus three armor is about to finish, though. So Skillis will be equalized on upgrades with Clem. Oh, Clem's a bit out of position here, as it looks like top side. Oh my god. He just had a lot of lag, but I think that was on my computer and not on the internet, thankfully. So, sorry about that. 
Clem is taking this lower left corner base, but Skillis has already taken this one, and the Zealots, a mass amount of Zealots coming across as Skillis distracts towards the top side. I think that new sixth base is going to be forced to lift for Clem. Oh, this is really nice, just splitting off a few Zealots and sending these down here, forcing Clem to focus on multiple locations at once. Something Clem is very good at. Oh, that's a big pickoff right there. Gets the Warp Prism, and now Skillis on the retreat. Disruptor Nova going to cover his retreat at least a little bit here, but he has trapped himself out of his base, so he's got to be really careful. The Zealots pull home. Clem wants to take this base, but he's going to need to send some units down to, to deal with the Zealot here. And also to deal with the run-by that will invariably come back the moment Skillis sees this. And Skillis is still moving around the top side with the other part of his army. Widowmine will be the first to spot this. There's a, a quite a lot of bio up here, though. I think the bio's okay to deal with this. Four disruptors make that more difficult, especially when Clem's not looking. Oh my god, a massive connection there. Gets a bunch of kills, 14 kills on this disruptor. Clem does push away the zealots on the bottom side. He's going to be able to get this planetary set up, but Skillis on the top side is doing a great job. He's going to catch this army again. Clem not looking again, loses the medevac. The army pulls back to the third, but now the natural is wide open. The disruptor is going to try to zone this bio back here. While Skillish just gets his way into the main. More Zealots coming in down here, which they're going to get cleaned up. But that's a bunch of army Clem has on the bottom side of the map that is not helping him. Oh my god, the force field as Skillish is on top of the production, killing all the units that pop out. Clem going to try to drop up into the main base. I don't think there's another force field here, but there are more Disruptor Novas coming out. Not getting any good connections, though. Can Clem clean this up? He desperately needs to. But if he can kill this army, it might put him in an okay spot in this game. The army supply is very, very close. Skillis is warping in more units. In fact, he has an entire army heading towards this base. There's a couple of... There's a widow mine here. Oh, but no repair on that planetary. He just goes straight on down to the three, three blink stalkers and zealots. SCV starting to fall here. Clem's economy. Oh, it's getting hit pretty hard. Losing this base, losing a few SCVs. His SCV count already kind of low. In the meantime, Skillis is mining just beautifully on his side of the map. Maybe even a little oversaturated on these mineral patches. But so zealot heavy. Clem's army supply is still very close, though. We have another Colossus out. Mostly disruptors. Mostly zealots. There are 34 zealots on the map right now for Skillis. That is the vast majority of his army. And he's just going to run straight through into the natural again. Getting on top of these reinforcements, and guess what? There is no wall here. The EMPs are big, though. Uh, and it feels like these Zelts are not going to trade particularly well. The rest of the army is coming back to help clean this up. And again, I feel like cleaning this up could be huge, but skill is being annoying with a few units down here. Zealots coming in here, 13 SCVs going down overall. It looks like the natural base might die if Skillis focuses it down. Yeah, he is going to get that while the Zealots are tanking the rest of this. Killing a lot of stuff back here. Skillis is getting good damage done. He's still... Uh, you know what? I was going to say he's not trading efficiently, but those trades are dead even after all of this, which means Skillis has been trading efficiently lately. And he's killing so many workers. Clem's economy is just in a terrible spot right now. And he's trying to dive forward, but Skillis... I feel like he's putting himself in a good spot. He's got a prism here. EMP is going down, but Skillis, he smells blood in the water. He is diving forward. More disruptors showing up. Clem is backed into a corner. Oh, the disruptor Nova. Sending him all the way back up into his main base. Skillis could come over here. There's a little bit of bio army down here. Clem's going to go for the drop onto the low ground to fight this out in a more open field. I don't think Skillis wants to take just the full fight here. Yeah, he just wants to send that army back, trim off some units. Oh, the prism speed so helpful. Skillis has gotten so much damage done. The supply is heavily in favor of him right now. And it's all in, all in workers. The army supply was, for a second there, very similar. But as I say that, a massive warp in. Skillis takes a big supply lead. Oh, there's a pylon here now. Clem trying to take that base. But it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Can he even defend this base? More bio coming down from the main. But he cannot defend it as it will go down. Clem knocked down to two mining bases right now. Not even mining gas at this base. Not that he really needs it. Oh, but the double Colossi. He doesn't have an answer for it. He can't build Vikings. He can't build much. 
He's pretty broke right now, and Clem just keeps stutter stepping, falling backwards. But guys, I think Skillis has got this. Clem's army supply, so much of it is in medevacs. He's got like 22 army supply in medevacs, which means this is just a 50 or even 45 army supply bio force here. Oh my god, and the warp in in the main base, the blink forward, and I think this is going to be it. I think Skillis is going to close it out right here as it looks like the last of the bio is falling, and there's just nothing left for Clem. GG, Skillis takes the 2-0 victory. Knocking Clem out of this week's EPT Cup in the semifinals.